everybody, this is Z from Sad Panda Games, and welcome to The Evil Within 2. Now, I was actually going, planning on putting up video footage of the first game first, because I was going to try to play through the first game all the way through before Evil Within 2 came out, and, uh, didn't happen, so, either way, happy Friday the 13th to everybody. But, we're going to play this, or I'm going to play this, you guys can watch me, I guess. Uh, little forewarning on this, I have no knowledge of this game whatsoever, really. I played the first game, and through most of the first game, and I didn't have a whole lot, I don't know a lot of what's going on. I do know that this is a follow-up game, and that... Supposedly the creators made it so that you can pick up the game and play it without having to play the first one Which is which is nice. That is a really nice thing for them to do But it's not something like like you don't have to play the first one to play this game Which is really good for some people and for others. They're like hey, I want to play the first game anyway Which is fine. You can get the first game pretty cheaply Anyway right now it, it, it didn't sell as well as they wanted it to when it first launched but it kind of gained a cult following. So, and I think that what kind of like pushed them to make a second game. So, uh, the only prior knowledge of this game, other than I know that the creator said that you could pick up the game without playing the first one, is the stuff in the trailers. Like the E3 reveal trailer and, and stuff like that. Uh, that's all I know. Um, I know that you play, that you apparently play as the same main character from the first game. And, uh, one of the things with the first game, like, one of the tragedies in the first game was that, uh, this detective was partially this way in the game, uh, because his daughter supposedly died, I believe. Uh, but in this game, apparently, from what I've seen in the reveal trailers and things, that's not, it's implied that that didn't happen. Um, I don't know, but let's get into the game. I do know that it's supposed to have, like, extremely improved stuff. Oh, it wants me to use a controller. I don't want to use a controller. So we'll just select this, because I'm using keyboard and mouse. That looks good. Oh, yeah. I also pre-purchased the game through Humble Bundle, uh, through the Humble Bundle store. So I actually got the Last Chance Pack. So, I don't even know what that is. I think it's just some extra items. Looks like I get some extra item, extra starting items starting out. And that's it. So, I'm going to go to the options real quick. I might cut this out of the video. But, uh, let's see. Go graphics. P. Disable V Sync so I can get All right, frame rate. Yes. So everything is a medium. I'm getting like 55, 56. So I'll just I'll just stay at medium. Medium sounds good. All right, so this is Evil Within 2. Let's, let's start a new game. This is already looking way better than the first one did. So I know the first one had three difficulties too, but you had to play through the game once to unlock the like third difficulty or the hardest difficulty. It doesn't look like that's the same way here. Um, so I played on casual on the first one. Um, well, I'll go with survival. I'll go with survival. I'm not gonna go. Uh, who needs aim assist? Who needs aim assist? I'm gonna go flames, tragic fire, kills, child, and nanny. So that's nice. Subtitles are on by default. I didn't even check that in the options. And I probably should have. I 
really like these graphics. There's so many on me. No. No. No, this is not happening. This is not bad for medium. Oh, and we're running towards burning house. So that sounds. Oh God, Lily! Oh, and it actually does the person's name in front of the stuff this time. In the first time, the text just came across the screen. It didn't say who was saying. All right, so there's a little bit of direction. Damn it! Lily, I'm here! Where are you? Oh god, a ship stairs. Oh well, we can't go that way. Alright. So I'm, I'm assuming the stairs are this way. How did this happen? That door probably shouldn't be open. I'm coming, Lily! Just hold on! Can I sprint? I can't sprint. I'm here, Lily! I'm here! It's not that door. Is this door? Oh, it's gonna teach me to crash. Oh good, it's on toggle. This is one of the problems that I had with the first game. Was that it was on a it was on a hold and it was left control. Like holding down the control with your pinky finger is not the ideal way to do the crouching. Oh, I probably should have gone through the door that has all the little kid stuff. Lily! Come on out! Lily! Ooh, where are you? Cutscene graphics. I'm here! Dad's here! You weren't here for me, Dad. <sighs> Damn, those are good. That's good graphics right there. I know it's cutscene, but still. The hair physics, that's great. Really? Oh, shit. No! You didn't save me! That's, that's not creepy at all. So if you haven't played the first game at all, uh, Sebastian here, he goes through some shit in the first game. She was in the first game! Kidman? Hello, Sebastian. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was gonna happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. You sound just like that psychologist that forced shoved down my throat. But he didn't have answers. You do. You're gonna tell me about Mobius. This is already way better graphics than the first game had, which is understandable. I can't remember when the first game came out. I'm here because of this. <clears throat> Where did you get this? Lily's still alive. That, like I said, that's... Lily that's is life. dead! I read the police report! I was at her funeral! We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a death is child's play. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Lily is alive. And she's with us. 
but she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me! Well... I was hoping you'd come willingly, Sebastian. But we don't have time for this bullshit. We need you. Lily needs you. Alright, let's go. I'd be willing to go, let's go. I can't remember everything that goes on in the first game, but if I remember correctly, she's... She starts out like you think she's a good guy, and then later on she's kind of a bad guy, I guess. Sebastian? But for good reasons? You're awake. Good. Yeah. Great. Where are we? You're in one of our facilities. So this is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed-up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? Yeah. Patience. All your answers are right here. Why do I doubt that? But I recognize this. This is this is the, the same. Beacon Mental Hospital incident was an unfortunate setback. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved STEM system. This was in the first game. What does this have to do with my daughter? Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Happiness for one is happiness for all. This machine, this miracle, will allow our species to achieve greatness. We needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities. The mind of an innocent child. You connected Lily to that machine? Your daughter is quite special. The most stable core candidate we've ever tested. Thanks to her, the new STEM has been a smashing success. Until recently. A little over a week ago, Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. We thought it was just a technical glitch. An easy fix, so we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them, and STEM went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. I am providing you an opportunity. Not only to see your daughter again, but to save her life. Something you thought you failed to do before. You can save her, or let her die. It's your choice. Somehow I doubt that I have a choice. No father would, this, that would not be a choice for a father, I'm sorry. No father would take that choice. The, the, there is no, it's not a choice. They're going Good luck, their daughter. Sebastian. And please. Try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. If I remember correctly, I know you like, don't a trust good us, portion... but they have the I'm same sorry. goals as you do. That's all right. Here. I'm fine by myself. Just remember to call me the moment you find Lily, so that we can begin the extraction process. I'll be out here for you. But if I remember correctly, a good portion of the game is found out like later that uh, a lot of the a and lot of the game else is... will be in there for you. Are you ready? That was ominous. But uh, a good portion of the first game was spent in the original STEM system that they tried to make, and it was uh, a catastrophe. Uh, things went horribly, horribly wrong. Be careful in there, Sebastian. We're counting on you.
But this is the first time that Sebastian's gone, as far as I know, has gone Stem into entry system. In three, system. Two. Willing. One. I'm not really sure how it works. But it's supposed to basically connect their minds, I guess, is what that guy was saying. Things get freaky. Because it's in everybody's head. This is made by Bethesda, so the same people who made like Skyrim and uh, stuff like that. Is this where am I? But I don't have a stamina meter this time. <sighs> Where's my stamina meter? I'm coming, Lily! Dad! I know it's hard to accept Lyra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No! no. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. What the hell is this place? Detective, we've got a call. So that, that's what the first game happened. It was at this mental hospital called Beacon. That much. Really I did just play the game earlier today, the first one. But I didn't play through all of it, unfortunately. So there's a lot I don't remember from the game. And I never actually finished the game. I got stuck at one point. So we'll see if that happens in this game or not. Ooh. Some kind of weird... What the? Okay. <clears throat> Hello? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman? What? Snap out of it, Sebastian. You've made it in safely. How are you feeling? Terrible. Like the worst hangover ever. Don't worry. It will pass once your mind has adjusted. You're in an area separate from the main system right now. That's how we're able to maintain communication with you. This construct is called your room. It's a safe zone that was formed from your own memories. My memories, huh? If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your self-conscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I assume. That's them. Let us know if you locate any Can't of them. Figure that's what You're our only be. line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily, too. Union? This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing, too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. Lily, your team, and now me. We're all stuck inside STEM. I still don't understand why you can't just take them all out of their pods and wake them up. It doesn't work that way. Without a core, we're totally locked out of the system. To forcibly remove anyone from STEM at this point would kill them and leave their consciousness trapped inside there. Great. Mobius has got some stellar backup plans. Stating the obvious isn't going to speed things along. You need to find Lily. 
Otherwise, she, you, and everyone else inside is going to die. Okay, that's good motivation. Hoffman. Psychology and surveillance. This one could be cagey. Sykes. A tech, but at least he has some small arms training. Okay, that's useful. Yes. O'Neill. They must not have been expecting trouble if they sent in all these technicians. Harrison. Combat specialist, huh? Hopefully he can take care of himself. And last but not least, William Baker. Baker. Team leader. He's the guy I should try to find first. All right. So now we know the basics. I do find it strange that it's already in chapter two when I really didn't do anything in chapter one. So that's kind of weird. That, that's a that's a cat. Oh, and that's one of those documents. Look at that. A cat. I don't ever remember owning a cat. It's because you probably didn't. This is probably your help on the inside. Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? Uh, relic from a pre-phone camera area. These are well, mostly in old people's attics and estate sales. They can be used using the, viewed using the slide projector in Sebastian's room. Wow, that is crazy. Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay, I get it. I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about Point you. Point taken. That was, a, that was a really fast talking. I don't know if that's good. Oh. Brain juice! I know what this is. It's used for upgrades. It's gross, and it usually comes from dead enemies, but if you collect it, you can use it to obtain increased abilities. Thanks, Kitty. How appropriate. A black cat crossing his path. A mirror. Ah, yes. Just like Beacon. Should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? Save terminals. Okay, so that's good. At least I... They... So this works a little bit differently than the first one did. See, so that, that, that's weird that it's already in chapter two to me. That's just... Again, into the looking glass. So, uh, if you're a little confused, if you haven't played the first game, in in the first game, mirrors were used to get between like where you could go and do your upgrades and save, uh, and then also to and then you would use it also to get back to the 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 main part of the game. The real oh, part, no. I guess, but it wasn't still wasn't real. It was all in the stem world. Lily, what's wrong? My 
doll's head is broke. It's okay. Mom can fix it for you. She can fix anything. Cute kid. I can tell you one thing. I already like the facial animations in this a way better than uh, way better than Resident Evil 7 had. Resident Evil had 7 had some weird Sebastian? Ugly What's facial wrong? animations. Are you all right? I mean, some they were still good. They're still better I've got than a wonderful and family. An amazingly smart and beautiful wife. Why wouldn't I be all right? Come here, Myra. You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Are you sure you're not coming down with something? <sighs> oh, that was almost bad. Is this the right place? I'm gonna say it is, since this is where the mirror brought you. The beginning of this isn't nearly as gory as it was in the first game. What the? I have a feeling it wants me to go that way. Ah, there's my stamina meter. Okay. Oh, good. So that's a toggle, too. That was a painting? I thought it was an actual other room. Oh. Uh. It's a painting of the... Wait a second. Banker. It's one of the Mobius guys. It's the team leader. So I have a flashlight, which is way better than the first game. First game had a, uh, a lantern that he carried around that like hung off of his belt. It was really weird. I felt it was weird that he had a, a lantern hanging from his clothes. It'd be really hot, I would think. Yeah, those aren't creepy pictures at all. Uh, That's one of the search team. Baker. That he's like locked in a box? the music all of a sudden cut out. Ah, I got Sadistic. Five. Whoever did this must have enjoyed it. Alright, no other information on it. Just a picture of him being shot in the head, because you know, I need that. Uh, 
a statue. Just walk in here and the music is still stopped. Can I make it start again? I mean it was it was a little weird to me as to play in the first place, but it's it's creepier now that the music is done. I guess it doesn't help that I'm also I'm also playing this game. Uh, granted, I have the lights on, but that's because the lighting would be absolute crap for the video if I didn't. But I'm playing this game in my basement at like three o'clock in the morning. Someone tried to block the way out. We're in. Alright, so... Let's, uh, move it. I have a feeling I'm going to be coming across my first enemies soon. Because despite the fact that I don't have a handgun right now, this game is a shooter with some stealth elements, which is why it's great on console. But I do also, I liked the first one. I really did. I really liked the first game. Um, it's a it's a mind-boggling game. So, and I and I love mind-boggling games. It's got some puzzle elements in it too, which is kind of nice. I like the little puzzle elements. They make me think. Yeah. That seems normal. Hello? <laughs> Shit. Who was that? Eh, just a prank call. There's nothing. Yeah, ominous door being wide open for Manuela Rubuto. I think that's another one of the people. Can I can I not do anything? With this door. Apparently not. Okay. Let's, let's go upstairs, I guess. These paintings or photographs, maybe, are super creepy. Oh good, red carpet. More red carpet, I should say. That's not creepy at all. This entire place just isn't creepy. Not at all. Um, I don't like that that I, Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's uh, another file. Okay. <clears throat> Extravagant letter to applicant SV. Congratulations, truth seeker. Thank you for taking our spiritual acuity test. Pleased to welcome you to the next level of knowledge. Please report to the nearest MU center. This letter to ascend from probationary applicant to the position of MU disciple. This letter guarantees you an exalted position at the next cleansing ceremony. And written on the back of the envelope, lies all lies. Let's see. Let's see. Lies all lies. Hey, that symbol! That symbol that's on the back there, that was a very prominent symbol in the first game. I think it's a little different from the first game symbol. Grand. Okay. Like, I think it's slightly altered from the first game symbol, but... Alright, let's just... Oh, Help! Shit. Help me! Oh. Hey! Damn it! Uh, What's going on here? Okay. That's a good question. That was a good jump scare. Alright, so I can't go through this door. This is locked. That was that was probably not good. Oh. Random chair? Anything behind it? Anything? Ah. 
So that's, again, not weird at all. Totally normal. Totally normal. Can I open this one? Can I go a different direction? I don't want to go where reality is being sucked into this place. I mean, that just doesn't seem like... Seems like a bad idea. This entire thing is a bad idea, I swear. There was something behind this curtain. I saw it. I know there was something behind this curtain. It's saving. That's <laughs> that doesn't bode well for me. Oh, so this actually has cover in it. Uh, so space hold enter cover when the cover icon is displayed. Okay. Oh, okay. Go around corners. Alright, sounds good. guy just got totally capped so he got sliced just like the search team member and when the guy took the picture it made this weird time box I guess like froze the moment like it's truly capturing him in time messed up. It's cool, but that's messed up. There's no floor there, and there's no walls with those panels. I gotta there. find a way out of here. So, two of the team members are dead, right? So, like, Baker and whoever that guy was. I can't remember his name. This is... How? Because, you know, that wasn't creepy. Fuck it. Let's, let's follow it. Because that's... That's a good idea, right? Oh, there's a hole. I can't follow it. All right. Um, maybe I can go. Oh. Ah. Uh. Okay. No, that's it's, it's fine. It's fine. That's not good. We're starting to get into the gory stuff. This is a good I don't like that. Door. Ah. So they changed that. I have a file. Photo of another victim. Great. Wonderful. I'm betting the entire goddamn team is dead. That, that door's probably locked. Yep, that door's locked. It wants me to go to a specific place. This door is also locked. Um, so it does want me to go somewhere specific, and it specifically isn't in this hallway. So it wants me to leave, I think.
Yeah. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that. Markiplier's playing this, I'm sure he's having a fun time with the mannequin head. This door was the door that was locked before. painting just blinked. That painting blinked. That painting blinked. You blinked. Saw it. This is not Hogwarts. The paintings are not... Stop it. Come on. Jesus. Fuck. Um. Christ. I don't think that's Christ. I think that's that's the opposite of Christ. Rebirth. Rebirth my ass. That doesn't look good. I don't feel like I should walk in this time thing, but I'm going to do it anyway. Alright, so there's some fancy music. Uh, it's going to move. I just know it. I also don't like that sound that I think it's making. I don't think it's happy I'm here. Yeah, you just... It, it, it can stay there. It can stay there. And it can, it can, it can stay there. That's what it can do. A good bite, more white stuff. And blood. Blood is always good to see in the evil within. Just always. I have a very bad feeling. Oh, man. Oh. I am not touching any of these. I don't like it. I don't. Oh, come on. Way back is gone. I. I don't like this. This feels like a setup. This feels like a really bad setup to a really bad joke. But I don't appreciate it. So, dude with camera is douche. Got it. Ah. Okay. 
it's not. What the hell? <sighs> oh, that's not good. That is the opposite of good. Oh, Go, Sebastian. Go, 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 monster yeah that's what that was this monster the spinning saw and the wanting to kill me kind of thing Automatic health regeneration. That is something different, too. It's not in the first game at all. But I got my first weapon! So that's... Good, I guess. In the last game, the knife was only used for stealth kills. Really? So, oh, that's a healing syringe. I bet. Yep. So I can set a shortcut, and I can have up to eight shortcuts on this one. So just, we'll make that number eight. And then we'll use it. Yeah! Now we're feeling good about ourselves. What's in here? Another file? Journal in abandoned house. The handwriting in this journal is neat and precise. The final entry f reads as follows. Just got the call. Now I know the reason for all the weird shit that's been happening the last few days. It's the worst possible scenario, but at least I don't have to pretend anymore things I've seen, they've all changed. It's too late to save them. 
It's time to put my training to practice. May God have mercy on their souls and mine. Okay. Somebody was in dire straits. File is bad. Files. Photo of William Baker. Photo of another victim. And that. I have new slides. That was slide one. Tutorials. Residual memories. Data unavailable. Okay. I appear to be in some kind of cabin. That's what I make out of it. Oh good, I can actually use the knife as a weapon this time instead of only on uh, stealth kills. That makes way more sense than just stealth kills, by the way. Ooh, second weapon. Where were you when I needed you? Right there, where you just found it. Also, why didn't you check to see if it was loaded? I, I know we Maybe this is the right place. Thing. What about the clip? Lily. I hope you're here. I love you, Daddy. Oh, how cute. What did I get myself into? Kidman? I don't know, but it sure as hell wasn't a quaint little town. There's something bad happening in here, Kidman. Baker is dead. There's a killer running around in here, doing things that are... It's like Beacon all over again. What the fuck did you just send me into? I don't know. We're in the dark out here. Baker was the team leader. If he's dead, that doesn't bode well for the rest of them. Keep searching around. The more info you gather, the more I'll be able to help you. Yeah. Sure. Okay, you've acquired the following items from the Last Chance Pack. Uh, so I got an achievement. Welcome to Union. So, Last Chance Pack and uh, gave me a burst handgun, 50 gunpowder, because I think there's a lot of crafting in this one compared to the first one. Uh, 100 weapon parts, one high grade weapon part, one medical kit, and five herbs. Ah. Uh, so see, the first game had these attache cases all around with like ammo and stuff in them that really reminded me of Resident Evil 4, or and uh, like just Resident Evil in general, but Resident Evil 4 the most because that one used attache cases for fucking everything, and this one, uh, the first game it just kept reminding me of it because it had almost the same graphic as Resident Evil 4 for the attache case in my opinion, and that's just making me think that it's the same thing, with the herbs. Burst handgun. This automatic pistol fires three bursts and can do more damage than the standard semi-automatic handgun, even though it shares the same ammunition. This weapon was included in the last chance. Cool. Gunpowder. Explosive mixture of potassium nitrate, sulfur, and charcoal. Used in shells and cartridges, 12 centuries old, and still just as effective. This component can be used to craft ammunition and other useful items. High-grade weapon parts. These components are higher quality than standard weapon parts. They can be used to unlock a weapon's upgrade potential. Ah. Weapon parts. Various useful components that can be used to upgrade weapons at a workbench. Medical kit. Contains medicine that restores a moderate amount of health better than a medical syringe. Medical kits can be crafted from herbs. Uh, an herb, a naturally occurring plant with medicinal properties. The component that can be used for craft. This component can be used for craft useful items. So. That's cool. So. Go to burst. I mean, yeah. The one that came with the thing, right? So. Here we go. Seven, I think, yeah. Alrighty. So let's. I made the gun one. Uh, 
How do I switch back? Can I set the knife as a shortcut? Or is it still... No? Tab brings that out. Oh. Okay, so this is my gun. And that's my knife. Neat! Alrighty. I'm just gonna check things out over here, see if there's anything. Because if it's a crafting game, there's gonna be items like stashed about in random places. I'm gonna guess this is an herb. This is an herb. Look at that. So that's where normally people would just get an herb. So normally you would only get one herb. I have six now. So I wonder how many it takes to make a medical kit. I'm guessing it. I'm guessing it takes more than herbs to make the medical kit. Otherwise it would have just given me another medical kit. Been like, ah, well, this is worthless. Well, this just wants to teach you some of the crafting system, I guess, maybe. But you have to find a, a workbench for that. All right. Oh. Poor son of a bitch. Left here to rot like this. That that does suck for him. Or her. Whatever it was. Sure Don't worry, good. Sebastian. It's just a small, quiet town. Yeah. Too quiet. Agreed. Hello? Hey! She had to have heard me. Better check it out. His nose is broken. I'm doing the best for you. What the? Shit! Fuck! Red-eyed, weird white veins on the face. Oh, that's not good. Oh, God. Hey, yeah, uh, Sebastian. He's still alive. Take some of the green brain juice. Kidman. That was fast. Did you learn anything new? Yeah, I did. I learned that it really is like Beacon in here. The people in here are turning into creatures. Damn it. What the hell happened? I don't know. But it means that Lily is in more danger than just being lost. Sebastian. Save it, Kidman. Leave it to me. I'm gonna find her.
Yeah, he's dead. Somebody else in here. I don't know why. Just feeling. At least found something useful. Take the ammo. This appears to be weapon parts. Cool. So at least I don't take use the brain fluid on all the upgrades. In the first game, the brain fluid was the only like upgrade material really, and the weapon parts were used for the agony crossbow. And that was all that you really crafted, was ammunition for the Agony Crossbow. So you could climb. Oh, neat. Can I jump in this? Nah, no jumping. Unless it's a different button. Welcome to Union. Alright, well that's actually where I'm going to end. end this episode uh my first episode here i do want to thank you guys again for watching and if you do like what i'm doing and like everything you see and everything like that and you want to keep helping me do what i do and everything like that uh subscribing is always great and liking my videos if you actually do like my videos is also great um comments are awesome too uh definitely give me your guys your feedback tell me how good or bad i am at the game so <laughs> I will talk to you guys later.